Hi, Christian Bates here again, one of the osteopaths and the naturopath at the Paramount Clinic. So I want to explain to you this, uh, and it's a way of tracking how you get better and how you get worse. It's another sort of naturopathic principle, um, one of the laws of cure. So I use this a lot when I'm doing the avatar scan or the SRT, when we're looking at things like um, IBS or um, thyroid adrenals, things like this. So. As you see, this is a chart and this plots out how you get worse and then how you get better. So what we have here is uh, in the green would be a nice balanced organ, let's say your stomach. <clears throat> As things start to go wrong, you start to get symptoms. So up here would be acute, short term, inflamed. So it could be reflux, for example. So as uh, and, we'll, and on the machines, we start to see a reading. They actually show this graph as we check through acupuncture meridians for the organ we can actually see this um, on the machines on the on the laptop so um, this would be inflammation of an organ so you start getting symptoms here acute symptoms now if you ignore this and just leave it um, it could even be knee pain so if you had some um, arthritic joint knee pain if you start to ignore it the body's very clever it decides that it won't keep paying attention to that area. It won't keep telling you to do something about it, to fix it or to stop doing something to aggravate it. So um, it will kind of settle at a lower level. So what happens is it will, it will drop into this chronic area. So the um, under this green line down into the blue and the black, that's chronic. That's long term, lower energy, more tired, something that you've had for a long time and in fact is often less painful. Um, so in terms of the knee, the knee might just become less acute painful, but you still got the issue and you're limping around. Or the reflux becomes chronic, okay? And you just have it constantly all the time, not so flared up and acute and acidic, but maybe just grumbling along all the time, okay? So as we start to treat and start to help things, you get better in reverse. So it will go from here and things might flare up. So this could be um, the same for the stomach on the reflu reflux in this example, but the knee is actually a better example, easy to understand. As we start treating the knee, this is the kind of sore before better. So it's stirring things up. It's like you're getting the body to pay attention back to the knee. I remember, we're trying to help your knee, but it's your body that is fixing yourself. We're just there to facilitate it, speed it up. So as we do the knee treatment, we're bringing the tension back to the knee for your body to help it. So you get the inflammation, which is healing. So you get the inflammation back in the knee to start trying to fix it. And that can create a bit of pain. As you go through that, you drop back into balance where hopefully your knee is better with no pain. So inflammation, ignore your problem, chronic. As you get better, stir it back up, bit of pain before it gets better. Hopefully we minimize this so it's not too bad, but it is the body paying attention to heal it and then back into balance. Um, I hope that makes sense. And please do ask me any questions and um, any of our professionals here can um, help you and do a video for you and um, the website's theparamount.com. Thanks.